What's up, folks? How's it going? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I woke up and saw that there was a new uh, the, the 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 new Switch, the 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 Switch Pro, Switch XL, Switch whatever we're calling it, Super Nintendo Switch. I don't know, but I saw there was an announcement trailer for it. So rolled out of bed, as you can see, you know, bags on the eyes, and decided we had to react. So let's go ahead and do that right now. OLED. Okay, the screen is definitely bigger. And I look like they're showcasing Dread. I wonder if this means it's gonna come out around the same time that Dread comes out. I like the look of those Joy-Cons. I like the white, white, gray, ash, whatever you call it. That looks nice, I like that. But that looks like that's just a trailer playing. Whoa, what, was that a larger, a larger flap on the back? Because that little tiny flap is, oh, that thing is horrible. The little kickstand. Seven inch screen, okay, we, we suspected that. We, we knew that. Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, just going. I like them Joy-Cons. I, like I like that that silver, gray ash, whatever you want to call it. I like that. That's hot. Bigger screen's going to be nice. But I do most of my stuff on the, on the, on the what you call it? There it is, the wide adjustable stand. That is nice. That's kind of like what I have on my Surface. That's, that's a huge quality of life improvement. That is a massive quality of life improvement. That kickstand, that's huge. <laughs> Cause that little flappy kickstand on the current model, not getting it. I just need y'all to say Bluetooth. Tell, show me Bluetooth. I guess with the bigger screen, it makes those those games where you gotta do the, the dual stuff easier. I like the color of that dock. Wired LAN port, okay. Show me Bluetooth, show me Bluetooth. It needs Bluetooth. It needs all the Bluetooth. All the Bluetooth. Okay, so far it's just pretty standard stuff except for the fact that it's got that kickstand. We knew about the OLED LED screen. It's larger screen, we knew about that. It's gonna be like seven inches. Uh, go check out um, our Super Rock Boy uh, um, discussion video where we talk about the possibility of Switch Pro, Switch XL, blah, blah, blah. By the way, I guess it's not called the Switch XL. I guess it's just called the OLED version because there's no, there's no, um, I didn't see a name on the title of the, the video. I didn't see it called, interesting the, yep, just called the Nintendo Switch OLED. Available October 8th, same day as Metroid Prime. Called it. Kinda, I guess. I guess I kind of speculated. I didn't really call it. I, I speculated. So, um, but okay. Um, looks cool. Looks nice. It looks really hot. I love the size of the screen. I love the the Joy Cons. The whole, you know, um, the, uh, the 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 ash ash white color, whatever that is, or whatever you want to call it, light gray. Um, I am disappointed. No Bluetooth. I don't get it. No Bluetooth. I still don't get it. We need Bluetooth. It is annoying trying to attach to, to do this, this thing here. <laughs> yeah. It is uh, to, to your Switch if you're playing it portable. It is incredibly annoying. I know there's like little third party, little dongles and stuff you can get that go into the, uh, into the USB jack. Just insert it right in there. And, uh, and you can still, it's actually, uh, some of them have it where it's dockable with that little Bluetooth uh, adapter on it. But still, it's disappointing that, that Nintendo couldn't integrate that into the software, um, or to, to the to the hardware, excuse me. And um, they didn't say anything about any improvements in battery life or anything like that. So uh, I'd be interested to re maybe read the full the full specs uh, wh whenever they come out. If they already out, I'll, I'll do some research. But yeah, that is the new uh, Nintendo Switch OLED model. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if I'll get it. I mean, it doesn't like it's offering any particular graphical fidelity improvement. That's nothing too. Where are the graphical fidelity improvements? Like, you know, this this is not the pro, like the the next iteration, like we have going from like, you know, um, a PS4 to PS4 Pro, or you know, the whole Xbox Series SX situation. So that's interesting. That um, this is basically just a switch with. Um, you know, basically this got the, 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 the LAN port and it's got the, uh, um, 
the, the bigger screen and it's OLED, which is going to make it look nicer, but the, it, it, there's nothing saying it's going to run games better or maybe you're going to see enhanced games on the system as a result of, uh, you know, like better uh, hardware within the Switch itself. So interesting. So they basically didn't really announce a new Switch. They announced a Switch that has some improvements, but not a truly new Switch or a step up or half step. A new console kind of thing, or, or mid mid level console, you know, you know that whole mid step thing that people are doing nowadays with their console. So, uh, but yeah, that's it, uh, folks. Um, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching this reaction. I appreciate you being here. You could have been anywhere else in the world, and you chose to watch this video. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends. Uh, and yeah, I will see y'all next video.